Gospel of John chapter 17, we have recorded for us what's commonly called the High Priestly Prayer of Jesus. This is the prayer Christ prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane on the night before his crucifixion, and it sums up all of Christ's desires and plans for his church. Our Lord prayed for us that night, may they be brought to complete unity to let the world know that you sent me. I recently heard a Christian leader say, revival in the church begins with revising the church. And that, he said, means bringing us back to that John 17 kind of unity. As we're working our way through the booklet, Building a Revival Culture, we find that the next step is simply find a friend, be a friend. The booklet notes that movements are born and history changed among friends. In fact, let me quote directly from the text. God's plan of discipleship is non-negotiable and amazingly effective. If you want to grow in your understanding related to revival and spiritual awakening, find someone who is a step ahead of you. Seek them out. Spend a day with them. Call them for advice and counsel. Pursue people in your life who will disciple you in this area. Also, commit yourself to disciple others around you. If you're a pastor, disciple your staff and key leaders in these truths. When you go to a, con to a conference, when you go to a conference, take them with you. Read books together, pray together. If you're a Christian business leader, look for those around you who seem hungry for the things of God and begin to intentionally develop a friendship that will open opportunities for mentoring them in God's ways of revival. Help them discover the path to personal revival. Is God calling you to spread the spirit of revival by finding and being a friend? Then ask him to put in your mind the name of the potential mentor that he has in mind. Then take him to lunch, spend time with him, and see what God develops.